Hello and welcome back to this let's play of Planescape Torment with myself Waze and the nameless one Mort and Dacon. Now I recorded this episode, <clears throat> I did a good 50 minutes of it only to find I tweaked, I think someone um, pointed out that there was something wrong with the scaling on the last episode. So I went in to fix that and I missed, uh, I missed one of the criteria on OBS and the picture quality was terrible so I'm gonna have to re-record this so some of it I will have already done I'm gonna have to do it again which is a shame because there was some funny bits which was my initial reaction to, to certain dialogue but um, I will I will retrace my steps except we did go back we found a way into the um, back into the mortuary um, which I will explain I won't go back there because it was a waste of time, but I will go through how we get back in there for... I'll explain more later on. So let's get going. Done. The plan for this episode was just to explore a few things. Firstly, I do believe I have a level up. I'm a level one mage now. Uh, I don't get any characteristic points. Spell memorization abilities have increased and I've gained two hit points. So all of that isn't too bad. So I've got 43 hit points now, which isn't bad for a mage, I would think. Better than starting off as one. So we'll accept those. So that's that done. And with regards to the journal, a few things in here. So look, the fetch the embalming fluid and needle for IV. This is why I went back to the mortuary. Problem being, we have the needle, but we've I think I actually used the embalming fluid as a healing item. So until we find some more elsewhere, there's no point going back to the mortuary. Uh, the rest of these things, I'm not going to go. Porphyrin's necklace we have, but I need to remember not to sell that. Um, we need to take it back to him. I can't remember exactly where he is. Uh, so if we come across him, we'll give it to him. I'm not going to go seeking him out. Same for Nod. We need to go back and tell him we found his sister. The bronze sphere for Farad. Again, I don't know on this one, <clears throat> and obviously I, I don't want anything on this, any feedback on this, because it could be spoilery, but I still don't know whether or not it would be problematic if I go and return the sphere to him before I find my journal, bearing in mind the tattoos on my back said to get the journal before I went to Farad. So I'm, I might take the plunge on that a little while later if the, the journal doesn't seem to be forthcoming in any way, but we shall see. The tombstone, we'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, look into the mausoleums, the matter of the mausoleums walking dead. Again, we'll see what happens. Requin's curse, I think this means going to the upper wards. So when we get there, we'll worry about that. <clears throat> and find out where Pharaoh's corpses are coming from for the man in Ragpickers Square. So again, on this one, we went to his bolt hole. Um, the corpses are coming from the place underneath his area so I wonder if we go back to him whether or not we can actually complete that so main aim of this episode is just to go exploring so let's uh, do that uh, Shergrave's kit midwife's hut that's to the trash warren so that's towards towards Farad Trashfield archway maybe we'll I, can't remember. I think that's how we get across here isn't it yeah we go through there to get across here possibly or is it here anyway not so matter. Let's head back towards the hive and do that. I hate doing things twice, but it looks like we need to do that. Okay, we've been to the southwestern portion, so we're going to head straight to the northeastern portion over here. And let's, uh, as I said, let's just go and explore. Here in there is the mortuary. Angus house so there's some area around here still to explore which we will do all right let's do this oh that was the other thing uh, i did mention I, I was having a quick look through here the journal which basically this is all about mebeth teaching me to become a mage but i went in this beast section now you've got all the npc ones but these are pcs now dacon and mort we have and i am the nameless one however ignis the the guy in the smoldering corpse bar this would make me believe that there could be some way to make him uh, a party member, which is interesting. And then Anna, this tiefling who we met, this could be our thief. So we need to keep an eye out for her again. So 
It's about a case of keeping our eyes peeled. Right. Ingress. Let's talk to Ingress. You see a haggard woman wrapped in rags. Her hair is disheveled and dirty and her complexion is extremely dark. Burns cover her arms and her right hand is a fused lump of flesh. It looks melted like wax exposed to a great heat. Okay. Does that look too good? Greetings. Updated my journal. What is it you want of me? The woman's accent is thick and you're having difficulty making out what she's saying. You want me to leave? I'm not leaving the city, so I'm not. I can't try. It's not a city. It's a prison everywhere. Everywhere? There's wells. There's... Her eyes gleam madly. <clears throat> Plains to be sinking sands. Fields thirsty nettles be sightless worlds where your limbs are given life and hate. Cities of dust whose people are dust and whisper ash. The house without doors. The twilight lands. The singing winds. The singing winds. She starts to sob quietly, but she seems all, all out of tears. And shadows. The terrible shadows there be. Okay, where are these places? Where's? Where's them places? She flings the lump of her right hand in an arc, gesturing at the cityscape. They's all here, be Doors, doors here to everywhere. Doors? She's talking about the portals, isn't she? You? You're not knowing this? She squints at you and her teeth start chattering. Tell you I will. Beware every space you walk through or touch in this thrice-cursed city. Doors, gates, arches, windows, picture frames, the open mouth of statue, the space between shelves. Beware any space bounded on all sides. All these are doors to other places. Okay, what do you mean? Every door has a key, it does. And with this key, they show their true nature. An arch becomes a portal, a picture frame becomes a portal, a window becomes a portal, all eager to take you someplace else. They steal you away. She raises the lump of her right hand. Sometimes what's on the other side takes part of you as tithe. Okay, and what are these keys? The keys. Keys number as many as the doors of this city. Every door a key, every key a door. Her teeth start chattering again as if she is cold. And the key is? The key is anything. Maybe an emotion, an iron nail held between your second and fifth fingers, a thought thought three times, then thought once in reverse, or it may be a glass rose. Okay, and these are all keys to open these doors. Basically, anything. Updated my journal. Yes. Her teeth start chattering and she clenches her mouth closed and squints her eyes. Y y yes, she can't leave, can't leave. How did you get here? Updated my journal. From... She seems to calm slightly and her eyes take on a thousand league stare. Came from a place else from here almost a lifetime ago. Hummed a tune by a glade with two dead trees that had fallen together. A brilliant door opened in the space between the crossed trees showed me this city on the other side. I stepped through, ended here. Well, why can't you go back? Tried. She tries to sob again, but no tears come. Tried. All doors here lead to other places. She shudders and grips her melted right hand. Went through thrice ten portals, some are purpose, some are accident, none of them right. Can't find way back. There must be a portal that can take you back. Can't even leave here, this square. And there, the place of death behind the gates waits for me. She points at the mortuary behind the gate, then turns back to you, her face desperate. Can't go anywhere in this city. You can't go anywhere? What do you mean? Anything could be a door. Any arch there, any door here. Could be a portal. Don't know the key. Could get us sent to another horrible place. Her teeth start chattering again. Got to stay away from the closed spaces. All could be doors. Could have a key on me and not I not be knowing it. Uh, you're afraid to go through any door or arch because it might be a portal she nods her teeth chattering okay how long have you been afraid of this exactly she squints since the last time i walked through the last portal the place where me and she stops since the tent turning i'm in my fourth tent turning now now her teeth begin chattering again 30 years you haven't walked through any door for 30 years her vision seems to clear slightly. She looks up at you, her teeth still chattering. Look, if you got here, there must be a portal somewhere that can take you back. It's just surely just it's a matter of finding it. She smiles. Her teeth aren't chattering because she is cold. They are moving around inside her mouth, her gums twisting as the teeth shift about. They rise and recede as you watch, chattering as they rattle against each other. Ugh, what? She hisses at you. Only takes one portal you steps through accident to drive the fear into you. I went through thrice ten, lost me hand, burned my flesh, and lost my sense. She looks at her feet. No more. No more. OK, 
Okay, I'm sorry. If I can find some means to help you, then I will. Farewell. Updated my journal. Okay. Journal. So ingress, obviously. Anything basically can be a key. Um, and the doors are everywhere. Although I think we know what those look like. And she was transported through one of the doors by humming a tune in a glade by two dead trees that had fallen together. Interesting. And she's trapped by her fear of portals. I can understand. 30 years. Yes, that's a long time to be afraid. Oh, and there's a portal. Which we will come back to in a minute. Let's uh, go and see what else we have. Who else is around here? I'm missing somebody. Who have we got? Hive Thug. Oh, Bayon the Sender. I don't believe we spoke to him before or in my previous recording of this episode. So let's try that. Something different. <clears throat> you see a heavyset man with sharp features and a pained expression. Despite his huge frame, however, he is an effeminate look about him. And unlike the other residents you've seen, he looks to have bathed recently. <laughs> As you approach, he looks up hopefully and calls out in a high voice. Craddock, good sir. What? Uh... His hopeful expression dies as he studies your face. A thousand apologies, good sir. If I had given offence... He gives a slight bow. I am called Bayan the Sender. Third child of Dai Bayan, the Sender. I am one of the many runners in the employ of the House of Senders. Uh, you haven't offended me... Um, yet. Uh, what do you want? A thousand apologies for troubling you with such a trivial matter, but I seek Craddock, an overseer in the Hive... Craddock, that name rings a bell. Bayon looks like he's in pain. But alas, but alas, he eludes me. He looks at you hopefully again. Could it be you have heard of such a man? Um, sorry, I haven't. Bayon gives a deep sigh. I'm bound to deliver a message to him, and as of yet, fortune has chosen not to favour me. Okay. I could help you. If I come across the man, I could pass along your message. Bayon's face lights up like a lantern. Oh, fortunate day for Bayon in the House of Senders. Any assistance you could provide would be most welcome. If you can find this Craddock and pass along the message, I shall see to it you are paid for your troubles. Okay, what's the message? Bayon recites the message almost like a mantra. The shipment must be incursed by the third day or there will be a penalty. Bayon frowns. I am told that Craddock will know of the shipment to which the message pertains. Okay, if I see Craddock, I'll pass along the message. Is there anything you can tell me about him before I go that might help me find him? He is said to be a giant of a man, stern of features, that he is an overseer in one of the hive marketplaces. Alas, I know little else than that, good sir. Okay. So, the hive marketplace. Fair enough. Thank you, sir. Should fortune favour you and you are able to bear the message to Craddock, be so kind as to return and tell me of it. I will see to it your efforts are rewarded. Very well. Farewell, Bayon. Updated my journal. Okay. Is that in the quest log now? Find Craddock. Yes. Okay. Now, where else? We've done all this area here. Mm-hmm. -hmm. We're missing somebody. Where? Where did I see this other person? And I came across a person called Pox. Are they over here? Let's go a hunting. Hang on. Dustman. These are all Dustmen. I didn't check any of this area out. Nope. And there's a door there, which we I didn't explore either. When It doesn't have to be the same as what I did, even though I can do those things if I come across them again. Okay, there's the Davis fixing things. Let's go in here. This, what is this? 
this, this obsidian monument has names chiseled on it. Hmm. I wonder if this could be for the crier of Essanon. Could this be a tombstone? Let's talk to Quentin. The man before you looks to be a, to middle of height and years. He is stout with a thick bullish neck and his shoulders are hunched as if a great weight was pressing upon them. He wears an impatient look as he stares at the black monolith in front of him. Greetings. Man throws you a glance. There's room, Cutter. No need to ask my leave to stand here. Uh, actually, I wanted to know what this monolith was. It's a tombstone for the plains, he scoffs. Ah, tombstone. We need to go and see the crier. Graveyards of names are scratched on that rock. Can only hope my name's the one that will split this stone in twain. He points at the base of the monolith. Quentin, right there. Hammered in just hard enough to send the damn thing crashing down. Tombstone for the plains. Aye. Quentin smiles ruefully. The dusty scratch the names of the dead on this monument there. Here. He gestures around him. And on the walls of this place. Not enough space by my reckoning, but no matter. They do their best. Could barely read after names. So, what are you doing here? Reading the new arrivals. <clears throat> Try and find a new one every day. Try and remember if I knew them. Nothing more. So the dustmen record the names of all that have died on this monument. Aye, they scratch him on this rock and scratch him on the walls in this place too. Quentin scoffs. <laughs> I don't know why they take the trouble to take a counting of the dead. Dusties have more care for the living. The living. Aye, you know about the dustmen mourners that come to this place? They aren't mourning the dead, see. They're mourning the living. You can barely get a word in them edgewise without them asking to mourn some poor living Burke for you. Okay, why do they mourn the living? You got me there, Cutter. He shrugs. Might want to put the questions to them. Seems to me the dead are thrice worth the pity of any poor sod living in this pit. He nods at the monument. Every name on there is blessed in my book it is. You ever know anybody who came back after the name was put on there? You mean come back from death? Quentin shakes his head. Not a one cutter. Everything that lives dies and that's the way of things. He shrugs. Still, considering the planes go on forever and all, I suppose anything's possible. Okay, I suppose so. Any other questions? What are you doing here? What's the monument? Okay. Well, thanks, Quentin. An elderly hive dweller. A sense of great loss hangs over this elderly woman like a dark cloak. As you watch her, a long, sad sigh escapes her lips. Greetings. She looks up at your face, cloudy eyes squinting and training to see you clearly. Forgive me, young cutter, but I'm an old woman I don't see so well. Do I know you? Uh, perhaps you do, but I don't know you. She mulls your answer over for a moment, nodding. What was it you wanted, then? Uh, just some questions. Questions? A spread expression curdles. Oh no, you're an adventurer, aren't you? Name, job and all that rot, eh? Well, I won't have it. Off with you. No, no, I'm not an adventurer. Bar that. The woman jabs her finger at you. I've watched the dustman put the name of me husband down his soul, me son and both me daughters on the memorial. Adventurers, all of them. Why, I swung quite a sword myself in the day. Says I know one when I meets one. The old woman seems to be working herself into a fit. Her face has become flushed and flecks of spittle fly from her lips as she howls at you. Okay, we'll let her continue her trade. I'll bet you've got all sorts of balmy questions. She mimics your heroic stance. Greetings, I have some questions. Can you tell me about this place? Who's the Lady of Pain? I'm looking for the magic girdle of Swank Iron. Have you seen it? Do you know where a portal to the 2817th plane of the abyss might be? Do you know where the only flaming frost brand gronk slaying Vorpal Hammer are wounding and returning and shooting lightning out your bum is? She spits. <laughs> Dung, all it. Only gets you in the dead book. I ought to kick you in the shins for even pestering a poor old woman about it all. Now go away and leave me in peace. Fair enough. <laughs> It wasn't a bad second time either. <laughs> That's fantastic writing. Okay. Where are we going? I feel like we've missed something. Let's head out here. Davis. Thug. 
I'll go that way. I am intrigued by this portal. Can we go over here? We cannot. This seems to be it. Tomb, gathering dust bar, mortuary entrance, dustman, northwest mausoleum, Shalandra's Kip. Hmm. Didn't go in there before. Let's go in there now. Let's have a look. Shalandra. I think the spell goes something like this. Maybe the spell goes like this. Okay. Blast! I almost had it that time. Don't you know it's a danger it's dangerous to interrupt spellcasters while they are evoking a spell? Luckily for you, I was only practicing. Well, what is it you want? Okay, my apologies for disturbing you. It looks like that is that. We could try stealing things, but that would be bad. Maybe if we get a thief. I can send send them in on their own. Alright. Right, let's do the portal. See where it takes us. There we go. This spectral figure materializes from the gloom of the passageway ahead and quickly moves to block your path. It floats before you, its once, once human features twisted in a mask of rage. Defilers, leave this place at once. Uh, hello. Leave now. Its booming voice echoes down the halls. This place is forbidden to the living. Leave while you still can. Uh, just mind if I ask some questions first. Seek your answers elsewhere. This place is a sanctuary for the dead. I shall not permit their slumber to be disturbed by the intrusion of yet another insolent mortal. Uh, another? Has someone else been here? If you must know, yes, there is another intruder who even now continues to violate the sanctity of these hallowed halls. The anger in the spirit's voice fades. He seems somewhat saddened by the admission. The souls of my brothers and sisters cry out for peace. Okay, and who is this other intruder? He is an evil coward who wields great power over the dead. Oh, sounds like a necromancer. He seeks something within these holes what it might be or what its purpose is in seeking it i cannot say okay so why don't you just drive this intruder away i cannot the coward has sealed himself within the inner chamber of the mausoleum he has erected powerful wards that bar my entrance into the chamber it is from there that he calls upon his dark arts to awaken my brethren and bends them to his evil will hmm Sounds to me like you might need the help of one intruder to get rid of another. The spirit remains silent for several long moments. You can almost feel the weight of his lifeless gaze upon you. Yes, you might prevail where I have failed. If you will pledge to rid me of this black guard, I shall grant you passage. What say you? Dacon, Mort, what do you think? Yep, yep, we'll do it. Updated my journal. So be it. The spirit slowly begins to fade until only the echoing of its disembodied voice remains. But take heed, tread lightly in these halls, lest you join the others in eternal rest. Okay. Let's go right. exploring and see. Now, traps. I said this when I recorded before. I said... We really need a thief, just in case there are traps. And I think a little bit further on, we got hit with a trap. Uh, yep, there we go. Round about there. Let's have a look. Skeletons. Come on, boys. Three of us now. Can we take some skeletons? I think we can. Go. Come on, come on. Go down. This one. Okay, Dakon. Uh, blood charm. 18 hit points. How many hit points are you on? 13. That's not a lot. Not a lot at all. I got... They're there for using. Okay. Now he's up to 31. Better. Let's continue. Did you see that? 
Yeah, I didn't see anything more. The skeleton's still standing. Better. Let's have a look at what we have. Bandages. Bandages are always good. This one as well. Some rags. This one here. A clot charm. Lovely. Okay. Quick bit of inventory management. Rags are there. Bandages for Dacon. Take those up there. Uh, anything else? I can't use any of these items anymore because they're just for fighters. Um, I have a high quality stiletto. I'll hang on to these. The junk, the silver earring. Dacon can carry. Okay. Scroll of Bloodbridge. What does that do again? When cast mage, select any living non-dead target within touch range and drain life from himself. Two hit points plus one hit point per level of the caster and give it to the target. Oh, so I can actually heal. Okay. That's a level two spell, which I'm not sure I have access to yet. No, I wouldn't. Not a level one. Okay. Hmm. Sounds a bit scary, actually. Not sure I'd be... Let's put that up here. That down here. The bone charm. Strengthens the user's skeleton axe as a ward against breaks and fractures. Plus two to armor class. Okay. If we get into a tough fight. Severed arm. Mort. I appreciate the irony of this. I'm sure you will too. But as you have no arms, would you mind carrying one of mine? I already have two. There we go. Done. And this pet. I'm not sure if this can be used to distract things if we're in a bind. Could I sacrifice Lim Lim? Would I? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. If it's me or hit him, then yeah, maybe Lim Lim will have to go if it even works like that. We shall find out. Right. Did I get all three of those? I think I did, yes. Let's keep going. There's another one. Commons is always good. Let's keep exploring. Into the bowels of the mausoleum. Okay, another skeleton. Let's just wait here in case there are others. We don't want to aggro them all at once. One at a time is our favorite way of doing things. We prefer the numerical advantage. And you as well. Take him out, boys. And this one. Come on. Done. I don't think they leave any loot. No, they do not. Okay. More bandages. We like bandages. Right, finish him off. Damn it. Damn it. Well, down he goes. And another a heart charm. What's the heart charm do? 27 hit points. That is good. We like that. We like that a lot. Okay. A giant skeleton. Let's definitely wait. How are we on hit points? We're all good. Right. Um, I hear Dakon, you attack. And What's Mort, up? you attack. Damn it. And I'll go in last. Hopefully he won't target me. Come on. Okay, I'm getting hurt. I'm getting hurt a lot. Kill the damn thing. Well done. Well done. One of my hit points, 24. I think it's time for bandages. Yes. Now, how's that look now? 33. Yep, that's more livable. More livable. Okay. Something tells me that's going to be to the inner. Yep, that's the inner chamber. Which is probably where the necromancer... Which is where the necromancer is. That's what the the thing said. 
Okay, is there another trap up here? Yep. Okay, some more skeletons. Fear me, skeletons. Okay, so far so good. Die. Take him out. Oh, there's another one. Sneaking up behind us. Cheeky sod. Uh, let's check this out. Silver ring. What's up here? Oh, this might as well. Oh, hang on. Where does that go? Oh, I don't know where that goes. That's back to the hive. This is the mausoleum in a chamber. Okay, let's, we need to clear all this area out. I don't want to go through there yet. That's uh Well, you as well. I'm gone. Right, boys. That's uh, more skeletons. We fear no skeletons. That's it. Wait to come one at a time. Take him quickly. Okay, how are we doing? Okay. Taken care of. More bandages. We love bandages. Another giant skeleton. Nope, cannot save right now. That's fair enough. Right. Go in. Back in. Mars, Dacon's taking a bit of damage. Kill the thing. Down. I will hear you. You're on 16. You need some bandages, Dacon. That's what you need. Uh, I have 12 there. You take the other five as well. Stack. Perfect. So. Balance in all things. Uh, let's Your stand over here. Make, make sure I'm healing healing the right person. No need to use any of Dacon's spells thus far. I'm going to save those for if something seems to be difficult. What are you up to now? 28. That's still... Yeah. That'll do for now. Okay. WASD doesn't work. I must remember this. Done. Okay. Okay, this is bringing us back to where we came. Right. Go on. Damn it. Damn it. Focus. Focus fire. And this one. Did you see that? Nice. Dacon has made a huge difference, I think. Three of us instead of two. And Dacon seems fairly... I mean, what? He is a... It is I. He's a fighter mage. So, yep. He's got a bit of everything. I shall serve. Okay. Done. Well, let's serve together. Oh, there's another one. More money. Okay. Yep, we've done all this, so let's head back down to here. Okay, you're going the long way around. Fair enough. In that case, let's go this way. Can we go up here? Oh. More rags. Okay, where's Dacon? Let's uh, wait for Dacon. Mort, you, you didn't have to wait for us. You could have started the fight at any time. Did you see that? 
Okay, we checked that, didn't we? Yep. I'm gone. What's this? Another skeleton worker. Okay, another chest. And go. The rock sings true. More bandages. And this goes somewhere too. I wonder if that also goes to the inner sanct. I see if it says. No, it doesn't say. These two don't say. We'll head to the inner chamber. I think. Damn traps. Need a thief. We need a thief. Have I done all of that now? That's pretty much everything. Yep. Now, in the last episode, I got to here and I stopped. But I have another 10 minutes or so where I think we can actually do this now because I didn't go to the, waste the time going to the mortuary. That's what it was. And there was another conversation which I didn't have this time either. Right, let's head to the inner chamber. No? Yes. Okay. Strahan Rune Shadow. You see a mid sized man in long robes of deep black. His hair is neatly coiffed and impeccably trimmed goatee complements his handsome features. Noticing your arrival, he puts down the book he was writing in and strides confidently over to you, smiling. Impressive. I must admit, I never thought you would make it this far. Uh, okay. I'm glad to have disappointed you. Are you the one responsible for all the walking dead? Who I am is of no consequence to you. What I want is the question that should concern you most. As he speaks, he looks you up and down as if somehow fascinated by you. Uh, okay, very well. What do you want? He takes a step back and cocks an eyebrow. I want your blood. Okay. He's a foul necromancer. We don't like foul necromancers. It's all kicking off. So, what a coincidence. I've come for your blood as well. Prepare to die. Really? Well, by all means, give it your best effort. He smiles smugly and raises his hands before him. Slowly, they flip back and forth, tracing intricate patterns in the air. Okay. We need to attack him quickly. Right. He's casting some horrible, nasty spell. This probably isn't going to be good. What do you have? Reign of Anger, Submerge Will, Power of One. Submerge the Will. What's this? When the will is submerged, new strength is gained. Strength to endure and protect against adversity. With knowing the teachings of the third circle of Zerthamon comes greater protection against all forms of attack. Basically, okay. Submerge the will. Improve saving throws and AC 2. Okay. Power of 1. Uh, it's range. And from Gith, the Warrior Queen, came the knowing of oneself, and from the knowing came immense power. Increases the target's strength. Okay. And Reign of Anger. I don't have. Okay, this could be a time to use a spell. I need to start thinking. I haven't been really thinking about it up to now, but I need to start thinking about sleeping more often, finding places to sleep. Because of learning spells. Hmm. A new, a new element to the game I haven't had to consider up to now. Right. What are these? These are just worker skeletons. So they're no major threat. But this guy is. I don't, we can't allow him. Hmm. Hmm. What to do? I say go for him. We need to disrupt his spells. Okay. Don't like the look of that. What's going on? Did we get him? Did we get him? 
Oh, we did. Wow. We have some loot. I'm gone. What do we have? Scroll of ice knife, a bracelet, and okay. I'm gonna take them all. Rusty dagger. It's commons. Now let's have a look at what we have. Mage's guard. Consider stand equipment for any adventuring mage. Bracelets such as these can be found across the plains. Judging by the markings on this particular bracelet, it appears to have been made in a style quite common to Sigil. Various glyphs of warding are meticulously carved along the surface, producing an almost hypnotic effect when looked at. When worn, this bracelet protects the wearer from normal attacks as if they were wearing scale armor. Armor class 6. Okay. My current AC is 5. What do I have currently? That's protection from chaotic creatures. Plus two to armor class. Uh, anything else? Tattoo. That's uh, well, plus one intelligence. Hmm. I wonder, does it... Let's put it on. AC one. This is good. This is good. Oh, I like that. That's fantastic. And we have Scroll of the Ice Knife. Level 2. Okay. Uh, ice Knife. Daggers of Ice. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's copy spell. As I said, I still don't know. I haven't looked it up. I don't know if there's a chance to fail, but let's give it a go. I succeeded. This is good. Not that I can use any of those. Where's my um, mage spell book? So I have blood bridge and ice knife in there now. Oh, I can. It looks like I can. No, not what I want to do. Ice knife. Lovely. Level three. I don't. Oh, okay, I don't have any level three spells. This is good. And we're not done with the loot. There is more. A leg bone club. Oh, look, we'll take it. You can always drop it if... Uh, a skull. What's in here? Oh, hello. Scroll of Chromatic Orb. Strand's Diary. Okay, fascinating stuff. Uh, first things first. More bones. Seems more your neck of the woods rags in here you can carry the rusty dagger more and the skull <laughs> uh and the silver ring with the bandages over there we can stack those up there the local circle of what's that awesome? circles those interlocking circles what does it do i'll read it again later i'm too too interested in what's in here Take all of these and have a look at them. A da not usable by priests. Okay, plus one piercing damage. A bone dagger. Okay, I think. One to four. One to six. This becomes my... I'll just leave that in there for now. I have a better dagger. This better armor class, better dagger, things are looking up. Scroll of strength. Okay. Uh, 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 what does this do? Range touch, speed two, person touch, grants immense strength to the weak or greater strength to the strong. 1d4 points. Okay. Or I could give it to Mort, potentially, as a fighter. Let's copy the spell. Nice. And I have a scroll of chromatic orb, which could be useful. Uh, what is this? You're more okay. Let's leave that. Let's leave the heart charm out there. And now, Strahan's diary. This leather bound tome is cracked and worn with age. Some sort of crest has been burned into the cover. 
you can make out a series of interlocking triangles centered about the initials SR. The writing upon its pages has faded considerably, but the last few entries seem to have been penned recently. Day two of the 127th year of Factor Hashkar's reign. At last I have found it. The missing page of the Aptaj Grimoire is now in my possession. As I had guessed, the page detailed the necessary components for the casting of the final transformation spell. I have all but one of the components, a drop of an immortal's blood. It is all that stands between me and the eternal power of Lickdom. But where can I find such a rarity? Perhaps I should seek the answer through divination. Day 14 of the 127th year of Factor Hashkar's reign. After days of taxing divination spells, I finally have my answers. The divination revealed the location of an immortal to be somewhere within the ancient, an ancient mausoleum located in the hive section of Sigil. I must make haste. I must find this creature and draw its blood before it moves on. Okay, tracking me down. Day 15th of the 127th year of Factor Hashkar's reign. I have arrived at the mausoleum. Immediately, I was set upon by a shade that guards the, the remains of those interred within this place. I managed to elude the spirit, found my way into what appears to have been some sort of inner sanctum. Protected by some minor wards to prevent any further interruptions by that supernatural twit, I have set about raising some of the locals to conduct a search for the immortal. If the divination was accurate and the immortal is here, then likely it is interred within one of the many crypts that line these halls. It's only a matter of time now. What day are we on now? Day 17. I am not alone. Someone has entered the mausoleum and is interfering with my servants. Could this be the one I seek? The divination revealed only that I would find the immortal here. Could it be that my presence in this place has prompted that which I seek to seek me out? What a delightful twist. I shall have to... The ink of this last entry is still wet. We arrived as he was writing. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So I am an immortal, obviously. Where does this go? Back to the mausoleum. That's the way we came in, yeah. Okay. So I have some new spells. I haven't used any of them yet because I need to sleep. So we need to we need to take care of that at some point. Uh, I have a new bracelet which improves my armor class. Armor class one is pretty damn good. And uh, I have a new magical dagger as well. A very, very successful day so far. At that point, I will leave it there. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're well. And until next time, take care.